Welcome, folks, to tonight's game. This one promises to be a good one between the Davidson Wildcats and the Arizona State Sun Devils. And, of course, here's our starting lineup. Well, Bradley, I'm really excited about the matchup in the pivot. The young man in the middle for either team could single-handedly lead their team to victory. Tonight, we really have an interesting matchup at the center position. Number four might be one of the best floor leaders in the country right now. The player will be guarding tonight is also a tremendous leader, Brad. This has potential to be one of the great matchups of the year, baby. I couldn't agree more with you, partner. Let's get down to the court and join the action. Here we go. The Sun Devils control the tip out of the gate. Looking for a good shot. Ten on the shot clock. With a bucket, perfectly executed. Check this one out. Both teams looking to get things going here. The defender's doing a great job of applying ball pressure. Drains it. like to get it inside to the low block unable to so far nice job of packing it in defensively yeah, really doing a great job packing it in then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass and come up short excellent spacing that's so important to a good offensive set it's even more important to have talented blocks like they have yeah that helps I'm stepping it man take a look right here Little burst of off in shorts, little ballerina hanging in the air. He's a jack of all trades. The ball goes out of bounds. In terms of balanced teams, what might we expect from them game to game, Dick? Brad, they like to balance the tap. They don't feel like they can always play up tempo or always play in the half court. Therefore, they mix it up and do a little bit of both. I think the style works for them. Goes up for two. Number 41 is called for the defensive foul. Everybody into the act right now, and you can tell by the cheerleaders on the sideline how things are going. And that what makes college so special, the enthusiasm of the cheerleaders, the mascot, everybody involved. I think it's important to get to the free throw line, Brad. It demonstrates that you're playing aggressively and that you're not settling for the jumper. seconds to get it off he can't get the bucket to fall escape the trap dump it inside they get an open three he gets the bucket to fall Receives the pass. Way to cover the ball on defense. It causes a five-second infraction. I've seen you out there with pom-poms, Mr. Vitale, but not looking that good. I'll tell you what, don't look that good. I can't dance like that, baby.
They've got a player spotting up on the three. And he misses the shot. Balanced teams, Dick, what are some of the things that they'll try to accomplish when they step out on the court? They feel they are more successful when they focus their attention on doing a bit of both, Brad. They have the personnel to be able to play up-tempo at one end and play in the half-court at the other. Looks like they want a T.O., Dick. Hey, the motor's running, baby. Coach has got to figure out how to stop this run. Do you think they switch things around here for the moment, Dick? I don't think so, but we'll wait and see, Brad. Working it around the perimeter. Well, thank you for joining us tonight with Dick Biden. He almost found himself in some trouble there, Brad. the pass for two the land a little two-man action tries for two way off target number one gets the pass comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Ten on the shot clock. On the dribble, gives it up. Got a little trap really well there, Brad. Looks at the three. I wonder if he's ever going to get any help from his teammates, Dick. He's doing it all and then some. Hey, if it wasn't for his play, that'd be in big trouble, Brad. Someone else needs to step up. For the bucket. Off the rim and no good. The center with the ball. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important to 15 to 17 feet apart. Ten seconds to put up a shot. They go into the low block. Both teams are looking to get something going here. Looking for a good shot. Curry may have escaped one there. Kicks it out. Picks off the lazy pass. Basic. Goes up for two. Up and in. The man asking for a screen here. Hey, whether it ends up in a roll or fade, it's well-executed two-man game is always a treat to watch. circle they work it around the perimeter the land <laughs> moving it around the perimeter from left of the circle knocks it down court they 
go with the entry pass on the post. Turnaround jumper. Takes the rebound. As soon as you get that defensive rebound, you should be looking to push the ball. Number 23 handles the feed. Gets the feed down low. Now the turnaround jumper. Good second half effort, though. Great rebound. Side. He attempts a jump hook. I tell you, the jump hook so effective, especially against a big post player. Very difficult to block that shot. Now they work it around the perimeter. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Let's check in third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad, in regards to our player matchup, the coaching staff has expected it to be evenly matched up across the board all night long. But you wonder, who's going to be the first one to throw the punch? Thanks, EA, our third member of our team, providing that additional insight. He goes to the free throw line. Free throw is good. That's major. That trap could spell some trouble. Great pass out of the trap, Rod. Off the mark. The power forward takes the pass. Up and inside. He makes the block. The lane. They're working around the perimeter. Stop that dribble penetration. Too many guys allowed to get to the rim. Number 30 takes the pass on the outside. seconds on the clock. I love that block shot, Brad. Really gives you a lot of momentum. Kicks it out. Takes the jumper. Missed it. job defensively. They just won't give many openings. Pressure in the basketball. They work the perimeter. Oh, he's got hops like you, man. He got hops <laughs> like you. Yeah, it is pretty similar. Wow. I didn't realize my partner was a high rise. Gave it up. up for two. The lane. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. 
Well, Brad and Dick, the coaching staff knew this would be a key heading into tonight's matchup. This is something they stress during pregame, and it's something they're talking about on the benches right now. The message, get the ball inside. Guys, they're doing that. All right, Aaron, we're going to watch that the rest of the game. I'll tell you one thing, you better be able to establish post play because that gives you inside, outside action. The point guard with the ball. Wide open. Misses from downtown. This zone is working miracles on defense tonight, Dick. Hey, they've been active and they're taking everything away. And a momentary look from three-point land. For three, he doesn't get the hoop to fall. Seems as though fatigue is set in for some of these guys. On the outside. He takes the shot from the baseline. And it's in and out. They work it around the perimeter. The skip pass is picked off. Cross court. Jumper. They can't stop this guy, Dick. Want to give him a try, Brad? If only my knees weren't aching. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. two up and in they've got to figure out a way to slow him down I'd start to get physical with him and I'd see what happens great shot block right there he had some good movement on the offensive side now trying to feed the low block boy terrible execution on offense shot clock number 42 gets the pass I tell you what a nice turnaround jump shot soft as velvet fading away impossible to block he shoots the jumper excellent jump shot right there at the half the Sun Devils trail by five Rewind a little bit here and watch the play of the hat. In terms of those points of emphasis, Dick, what do you see so far? These guys have been doing a great job with the points I emphasized at the beginning of the game. If they keep this up, they'll be fine at the end of the game. Okay, there you have it. One more half of basketball remains, and we'll see how the teams address these points of emphasis. Arizona State did a terrible job cleaning the glass in the first half. How many times you and I hear coaches preach about the importance of rebounding the ball on both ends of the floor? I don't know where the players' minds are. Maybe they're thinking about their dates. Dick, two great players now heading into the second half. We watched them through the first half, and they played it pretty dead even. We'll see what happens here in the second half. Well, they're really doing a great job. Both guys getting good shots, really making them count, and really their teammates are getting the ball at the right time. Dickey's still applying great pressure on the dribble. Dumps it in. Ten on the shot clock. The point guard receives the pass. He cashed in on the layup and gets the foul. He knew he was going to get fouled, 
Brad, but he took the hit like a man. He is going to the line. It's good. They've got him trapped here, Dick. Hey, they got him in some trouble, Brad. Eludes the trap there. Number one receives the ball. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Here comes a pick. Hey, ball screens are such an important part of the game these days. Guys are so creative when it comes to using that ball screen. For the bucket, play it. That's a breakdown. I don't drive a coach bananas. Help you to lose your hair. Turnaround jumper. Harden is feeling it right now. That is on fire. Number 14 takes the feed. As the fans continue to chant. Who says there's no such thing as a home court advantage? Goes up for two. Number 30 is charged with the foul. First team foul. Dick, how's that backcourt comparison, Chick? Hey, Brad, that's a question that these coaches should be asking themselves. How can they, as coaches, get the most out of their courts? Are they quick enough to pressure the opponent, or offensively, can they create off the dribble? To me, it's about finding the weaknesses and attacking them. He hits it. Those free throws count. Let's go back on that campus. It's BMOC. Big man on campus, baby. Pushes it up. Oh, this man's in trouble. Hey, dodge one there, Brian. Cross court. Great defense forcing a call of five seconds. Isolated on the outside, they're working around the arc looking for the open jumper. Tremendous defensive effort, and that forces a five-second violation. Ball's coming from the sideline. Looking for a good shot. Executes the baby hook, grabs the board. Men have got to get out and fill the lanes, Brad. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. The pass it despite the trap, Brad. The point guard with the ball. Cross court. Here comes the ball screen. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you.
Intercepted. Curry receives the pass. Now looking to attack. Curry handles the pass. See the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. He passes it out of the trap. With anticipation defensively. On the elbow, they feed down to the low block. Two, way off target. Number 12 receives the ball. Up and inside. Ten on the shot clock. circle jumper won't go gave it up they've got a shooter spotting up on the three-point line tries for two perfectly executed the shooting guard gets the pass the low block lots of room number 12 gets the three on the dribble gives it up for the bucket up and in There's a look at the current tempo for the game. A little half-court action and a little fast breaking, Brad. As a result, we have a balanced tempo reading. Number three handles the feed. He takes it away. Working it around the perimeter. And he goes with a spin. I tell you, feel the defensive player on your hip going one way, you spin back the other way. And there's what the game tempo is looking like tonight. That stat doesn't surprise me, Brad. The pace of the game has been pretty slow. The shooting guard with the ball. Let's check in with Aaron Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Aaron. Brad, before the game, both coaches and players said they were looking forward to tonight's matchup. Whose weaknesses will be exposed and who will really step up, guys? Aaron Andrews, always close to the action. Trying to go inside. He shoots from left of the circle, knocks it down. The Wildcats are going to move away from their preferred style of play and look at playing a bit more in the half court here, Dick. They've got a lead to protect. They should definitely consider running longer half court sets at this point. The time and score are in their favor, so it only makes sense. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. They're 15 to 17 feet apart. Well, let's take a look here at the tempos for both these teams tonight. Well, it looks like both of them are going to be battling to see who can control the tempo and put pressure on the opponent. Goes up for two. Lays it in. Looking for a good shot. He takes the wide open shot. Misses from downtown.
tries to turn the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Well, I think it's time for some subs Dick the player fatigue is really setting in. The center takes the pass. Knocks down the two. That's basic. For two. The lane. Number 14 takes the pass. Moving it around the perimeter. He shoots. The missed shot. Two to knees. He passes it out of the trap. Cross court. the trap. They go with the entry pass on the post. Turnaround jumper. Collects the rebound. They need to get out and run their lanes now. Up and inside. Now looking to attack. Gave it up. A good fast break always results in a bucket grab. Tries for two. Off the mark with a shot. Number 14 takes the pass. On the dribble, gives it up. Puts up the J. And he misses the shot. He almost found himself in some trouble there, Brad. He launches the bomb. Oh, yes. It's a one-point game. One point usually means free throws, Brad. The power forward handles the feed. The ball comes back out from the post. Out there, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Picks off the pass. They're allowing no fast break baskets. Sticks the deuce. Pushes it up. They go with the entry pass on the post. Turnaround jumper. Brings it down. Once you get that board, you've got to be looking up court. The small forward handles the feed. Now they want to get a quick score here and foul, right, Dick? Absolutely. They want to stop that clock as much as possible. Timeout's called. Let's check in with Aaron Andrews. As you guys know, free throw shooting becomes very important down the stretch. The coaching staff is aware of this, and we'll be talking about this in the timeout. It'll be up to the players to knock them down. There's no substitute for a timeout at this point in the game, is there, Dick? There sure isn't, Brad. Anything can happen on any possession, and the game can swing back and forth in a heartbeat. It's good if your team can get a minute to regroup and talk things over. Maybe some game plan changes, Dick? You never know what's coming, Brad. Shot clock is dead. Takes away the pass. Well, it's time to start fouling. They got to stop the clock, Dick. Well, Mr. Vital, I know you like bench productivity. What are your thoughts so far on this one? Hey, Brad, I'll tell you one thing. You're only as good as your 12th guy. Almost always holds true to that statement. Well, your bench play plays an important role in games, but also in practices where they're expected to push the starters. Competitive practices will result in better game performances. And the better game performances should result in more wins. 
turnovers, Dick. They just kill you every time. I'll tell you, Brad, they sure do. You must keep the number to a minimum in order to maximize your number of shot attempts. Number three. So they'll inbound on the near sideline. The lead is five. What happens now, Dick? Well, this is where momentum can swing in your favor or go against you enough to blow your game. Steps to the line for an easy one. Makes the front end of the one and one. They're seeing them all fall from the line tonight. That's a crucial plus down the stretch, Brad. He can't buy one. They really need a score here to have a chance. separating these two squads. This is no time to get complacent, Brad. Cross court. Jumper. He knocks down another bucket. This kid's got skills, Brad. And the clock stopped with a foul. Second shot. That line is really being good to him tonight, Dick. That line's always good, Brad. These guys just have to make good use of it. Surprise the opposition with a little change here, Dick. That might not be a bad idea. From half court. And he's no good from three-point range. Well, Richard, why don't you recap our points of emphasis? Every game, there's a plan, Brad. If you execute the game plan, you usually win. Occasionally, you'll play a better team, and they'll just beat you because they're more skilled. However, with a solid game plan and the ability to play your team's style, anything can happen. All right, there you have it. Definitely some food for thought. Dick, we can talk about matchups all we want, but really it's not just always a one-on-one -on -one matchup. There's a lot of guys out there contributing. Yeah, there really are. you got to play as a unit. It's all about the team. That's what gets you to the winner's circle. Arizona State loses in this very well-matched game. After a loss like this, you have to question their ranking. So for Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.